Okay, now we are looking at constraint optimization. You know, this constraint optimization is uh, talking about a situation where uh, the organization want to minimize profit, uh, minimize cost, or maximize profit, but they have constraint. That is, they have challenges. Now, the first one we did, which is optimization, that one, the organization want to minimize cost or maximize profit without any constraint. But in this one, the organization want to, in constraint optimization, the organization want to minimize cost or maximize profit, but they have a constraint, that is, they have a challenge in doing that. Maybe uh, less resources, maybe uh, raw material or things like that. So now, and of course, constraint optimization have two methods. Uh, it has substitution method and Lagrangian method. Now, the substitution method is also known as direct method, and that's what we are looking at now. We are going to consider Lagrangian method later. So, now, given this question, given f of x, y is this, subject to x plus y, the moment you see subject to in a question, that is the constraint. That is the constraint. And when you want to solve questions like this, you always start from the constraint. So find the values of x and y that will maximize profit and calculate the total profit. So uh, solution. Don't forget, anytime you want to uh, solve a question like this, you always start from the constraint. So I can say from the constraint. From the constraint, x plus y equals 30. So this can, I can take this two to the other side. So it becomes, you no, know, I can say, okay, plus y, bring it here. So my x will now be 30 minus y. You see that? I took this plus y here because I want to find, I want to make x to stand alone. So plus y crossing over a comma will change to minus. I will now say substitute, substitute for x in the function. Now the function we are given is this. So f of x, y equals 100x minus 2x squared minus x, y plus 180y minus 4y squared. So that's the function. So let's try to substitute our x now. So meaning that everywhere we see x here, we will replace it with 30 minus y. So this will now become 100, 100 x. So I'll say 30 minus y. Where I see x, I put 30 minus y. Minus 2 into bracket x squared. That's 30 minus y squared. Then plus xy, 30 minus y into bracket y, plus 180y minus 4y squared. You see that? Now, anywhere I see x now, I put 30 minus y. Why? Because that's x. You always start from the constraint. Make x the subject of formula. So plus y coming here, we change to 30 minus y. Then in the function, anywhere you see x, you put 30 minus y. Now, having done that, now the next thing I'm going to do is to now so let's now expand. So f of x, y will now be equal to if you expand this 100 times 30 will give you 100, uh, will give you 3,000. 100 times 30 will give you 3,000. Then 100 times minus y will give you minus 100y. You see that? 100 times 30, 3,000. 100 times y, 100y. Then open this bracket first. So I can say minus 2 into bracket 30 minus y, 30 minus y. Because when you say 30 minus y squared, it means 30 minus y in two places. It doesn't mean 30 minus y times 2, no. So, 
That's why I put it this way. Then minus, minus. Try to use this y to multiply. Y times 30 will give me 30y. Minus y times y will give me y squared. Still leave the bracket closed. Why? Because this minus will affect the bracket. So you can't open it anyhow. So y times 30 is 30y. Y times y is y squared. Then you have plus 180y. Then minus 4y squared. You see that? So from here now, our f of xy will now be equal to 3000 minus 100y minus 2 into bracket. Try to expand these brackets. Expanding this bracket, 30 times 30 will be 900. Minus 30 times y minus 30y. Minus y times 30 minus 30y. Minus y times minus y plus y squared. That's what we have. 30 times 30 is 900. 30 times minus y minus 30y. Minus y times 30 minus 30y. Minus y times minus y plus y squared. Then, this one, you can now open the brackets. Minus times 30y minus 30y. Minus times minus plus y squared. Then plus 180y minus 4y squared. You see that? So here now, I can now say that f of xy equals 3000 minus 100y minus 2 into bracket 900 minus 30y minus 30y is minus 60y. Because minus minus means you are owing. So see it like you are owing. You are owing 30, you are owing 30. So altogether you are owing 60. Plus y squared. Close the bracket. Minus 30y plus y squared plus y squared plus 180y minus 4y squared. Now, for, from here now, our f of xy will now be equal to 3000 minus 100y minus 2 into bracket. We can use the 2 to multiply. 2 times 900, 18. Minus 2 times this one, plus 120y. Then minus 2 times this one, minus 2y squared. Then plus 30y, plus y squared, plus 180y, minus 4y squared. So I haven't done this now, so I can say my f of xy is equal to f of xy is equal to so here now let's try to collect like terms you know I have 3000 3000 minus 1 8 of course that will give me 1 2 do I have any other constant I don't have any other constant then let's try to look at the ones that is having y. This is minus 100y plus 120y. That will give you 20y. 20y minus 30y. That will give you minus 10y. Minus 10y plus 180y. That will give you plus 170y. You see that? Plus 170y. So, then let's look at the y squared. Minus 2y squared plus y squared. That will give you minus y squared. Minus y squared minus 4y squared. That will give you minus 5y squared. So you see that? So from here now, you can now differentiate with respect to y. So you can have the f x y dy that is i want to differentiate this function so if you differentiate one two it will give you zero it's a constant if you differentiate 170 y it will give you 170 then if you differentiate 5 y squared it will give you 10 y that is 2 times 5 will give you 10 then when you minus 1 you will have y so from here now you can now say that Equate this your answer to zero. So I can have 170 minus 10y equals zero. Now, this is 
plus 170, this equal plus. By the time I take this 170 to the other side, I'm going to have minus 10y. That is, this minus 10y is still here. Equals to plus 170 coming here. We change to minus 170. So if I divide both sides by minus 10, minus 10 cancel minus 10. Our y will now be equal to 170 divided by 10 will be 17. Minus will have cancelled minus. Then I can say since x plus y equals 30, you know from our constraints in the question, that's why I ask you to write down the question, pause the video and write down the question before I clean it. Now our x plus y is equal to 30 from the question. Now we have got y as 17. So you just say x plus 17 is equal to 30. So plus 17 coming here, our x will now be 30 minus 17. Our x will now be equal to what? 13. So uh, of course those are the values, those are the uh, values of x and y. So therefore, x is 13, y is what? 17. So for the organization to maximize profit, they must uh, sell 13 units of x and 17 units of y. Now, having gotten x and y, let's now try to get the total profit because the question requires that we should do that. Now, don't forget that the question the question is okay now that we have gotten our now that we have gotten our x as 13 and y as 17 let's substitute in the original equation so our f of x y which is now the profit that we want to calculate so the profit now will now be 100 x our x is 13 minus 2 into 13 squared minus uh, 13 into bracket 17 x is 13 y is 17 we have gotten it plus 180 into bracket 17 minus 4 into bracket 17 squared. Now, 100 times this one, 1,300, minus 2 into bracket. 13 squared means 13 times 13. That's 169. Minus uh, 13 times 17. What would that give us? Use your own, own calculator from your own end. 13 times 17, we give you 221. 221 plus 180 times 17. 180 times 17 will give me 3060. 3060 minus 4 into bracket 17 square. 17 square means 17 times 17. And that will give you 289. 289. So you see that? So I can now expand this. So I will have 1, 3 minus 2 times 169. So 2 times 169. That will give me 3, 3, 8 minus 2, 2, 1 plus 30, 60 minus 4 times 2, 8, 9. 4 times 2, 8, 9. 4 times 2, 8, 9. Will now give me one one five six. So now to do this, we'll have a calculator. So I can say one thousand three hundred minus three three eight uh, minus two two one plus thirty sixty minus one one five six. That will give us 2645. 2645. So 2645 is the total profit of the firm. And so this is how to go about a uh, substitution method or direct method in constraint optimization. Thank you.